Hi, my name is Atif Kamal, and this is another workshop in Logic and Reasoning. It pertains to terms. Specifically, the purpose of this workshop is to distinguish between semantic and lexical ambiguity. A term may have multiple meanings on its own, uh, regardless of the words that surround it in a sentence, but other times that same term could have multiple meanings because of how it relates to other words in the sentence and I will give you an example to illustrate that. Um, before I go on I need to clarify that when I talk about lexical ambiguity I'm referring to <clears throat> a word having more than one meaning because of how it relates to other words in that same sentence. If I say that a word is semantically ambiguous I'm talking about um, multiple meanings that a term has um, which are not necessarily due to other words in that same sentence. Okay, so here we have a statement. A former professional dancer was accused of assaulting a 33-year-old woman with, a with her daughter. <coughs> this is my first interpretation. A former professional dancer with the assistance of her daughter was accused of assaulting a 33-year-old woman. Now, um, her daughter, as in from the original sentence is lexically ambiguous because it's not clear whether the daughter belongs to the dancer or the 33 year old woman <coughs> with um, as in with her daughter is semantically ambiguous because it's not clear whether the daughter is merely uh, present or accompanies the dancer or that the dancer actually uses her daughter to assault the 33-year-old woman. Okay, now here's my second interpretation. A former professional dancer was accused of assaulting a 33-year-old woman who had the dancer's daughter. Again, um, her daughter is lexically ambiguous because it's not clear whether the daughter's with the dancer or the 33-year-old woman. <coughs> and uh, with Again, like in the first interpretation, it is semantically ambiguous because it's not clear whether merely present or whether the daughter is being used to assault. But also, with is lexically ambiguous because it's not clear whether the daughter is with the dancer or with the 33 year old woman. So not only is her daughter lexically ambiguous in terms of whether the daughter belongs to the dancer or the 33-year-old woman, but with her daughter is also lex lexically ambiguous because it's not clear whether um, the daughter accompanies the 33-year-old woman or the dancer. For the third interpretation, I broke it up into two sentences. A former professional dancer was accused of assaulting a 33-year-old woman. The 33-year-old's daughter was present while she was assaulted. Now here, it's made clear that the daughter belongs to the 33-year-old um, woman. So her daughter is not lexically ambiguous. And it's also made clear that the daughter accompanies the 33-year-old um, because it's stated that she's present. Now my last interpretation um, it has this same first sentence um, a former professional dancer was accused of assaulting a 33 year old woman. The second sentence is different. The dancer's daughter was present at the time. Again it's not lexically ambiguous because it's stated explicitly that the daughter belongs to the dancer and it's not semantically ambiguous because instead of saying with it simply stated that the daughter is present with the dancer. Okay. Now here's an example to do on your own. It does not have uh, semantic ambiguity. It only has lexical ambiguity. You need to identify the word which is lexically ambiguous. And since there's a word which is lexically ambiguous, that means it has to interact with another word in that sentence to make more than one meaning or interpretation in that sentence. So try to come up with at least two possible um, ways to rephrase the initial sentence I gave you here. 
I'll give you a moment to work on that. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, I will move on to the answers, which I will do right now. All right, so here are two possible interpretations. The girl threw a book to hit the boy. Now here, uh, with is clarified because it's, now we're saying who possesses the book. The girl had the book. She threw it in order to hit the boy. Now we have a second interpretation. The girl hit a boy who was reading a book. Now if the boy was reading a book, it's implied that he possessed the book. So he was the one who was with the book. Okay. So in both cases, <coughs> they are not lexically ambiguous. Alright, so if you'd like more practice, you can go to google.com. If you want more practice for lexical ambiguity, you could type in simply lexical ambiguity examples or structural ambiguity examples. You're just looking for sentences that have that type of ambiguity. If you want more practice with semantic ambiguity, you can simply type in ambiguous words or ambiguous sentences. Um, or you can type in like semantic ambiguity examples, but I think you get better results with um, ambiguous words or ambiguous sentence examples. Okay, in the next logic and reasoning workshop, I will give you a method for formulating a simple uh, definition. And that's it. Thank you.